Welcome back everybody to another episode of my Project Ozone Let's Play series. Uh, today, what do we want to do today? Uh, got a bunch of stuff ready, sort of. Uh, I'm at the point where I need to make up this digital miner. And that requires, uh, if we look at the register, um, register, recipe, it's a little bit on the complicated side. Uh, it needs these atomic alloys, which require compressed obsidian. So we're going to start to need a lot more obsidian. Um, and for that alone, I think what I want to do first is make up a igneous extruder so I can get some automatic cobble generation. Not cobble. Automatic obsidian generation going. Uh, instead of going out looking for lava pools and making it manually. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we'll make up an, I think, the Igneous extrud Extruded. Yeah, the Igneous Extruder does that. Uh, I'm also, because I've got materials now, uh, I'm going to make up a resonant one. So, instead of using a basic machine frame, uh, it's going to use the resonant machine, sh uh, machine frame. Um, which takes uh, an enderium gear and a reinforced frame, which takes a signalum gear and some hardened glass, and a hardened frame, which takes an electrum gear and some invar, which takes up a basic frame. Uh, I got a ton of machine frames that I made up a long time ago uh, in reserve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up four resonant ones of those. So if we do make four of those, and I think we do that with, I think it's the invar first. Four, three, four. Like so, and then I think we put in, I want to say the electrum gear. Yeah, and that gives us the hardened frames. Uh, and we'll take the hardened frames and convert that with the signalum and the hardened glass into reinforced frames and then we'll convert those with silver and the enderium gears and make that into a resonant machine frame and that'll give us uh, hopefully a, a resonant or an igneous extruder that runs a lot faster than a regular one and then we just need uh, two copper gears, which I've already got pre-made. A pneumatic servo, which requires iron, redstone, and glass. I have the materials on me. Got to pick that up. And then we can make up the uh, the extruder. Like so. Put the piston in and the... Nope, piston goes on top, I think. And then one of the resonant. And that gives us a resonant igneous extruder. And then we need a source of lava and a source of water. Well, we've got a whole ton of uh, lava right here. And there's a chest that I might use to... F no, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I want to funnel it into the... See, I need to funnel it into the orange system. And I don't want pipes running all over the place again. So I need a way of getting lava and water and something to the orange system fairly easily. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the machine. Uh, should we put it? Maybe we can just put it. See how the water's over here. Well, there's some water over here. Give me a second and I'll work out what I'm doing and I'll be right back. Okay. What I've decided to do was, if I take a look underneath the platform, I have lava uh, coming out of the lava generators that I'm not really using. And I've got a pipe running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this lava. Wish end dryer wouldn't spam a whole ton of what's connected inside that pipe. If I connect up lava along this line here, that now feeds us. We have lava coming in on that pipe there. And all we then need is a source of water. 
And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this infinite water pool and swap it out for one of these reservoirs. And what I'll do is I will quite simply, I'm just going to put a reservoir over here. Oops. Oh dear. Failing. Failing, failing. One there, one there. And that'll make it a tank. And if we fill that up with water, take one of those. It takes two buckets to make this into an infinite water supply. These are the, the reservoirs what I used over in the uh, in the mining dimension to, to fuel these sprinklers. And that now becomes an infinite water supply. And it's a whole lot neater. Plus, I think one of the blocks got ruined over here anyway, so that was kind of dead. And then what I'll do is I'll put the... If I knock out that block under there, and if we go underneath, I'll connect up the water line to this line here. Oops blocks everywhere. This is not really going like I planned it. Okay, knock that one off there because we don't need that one either. How about we try and put it in the right place? I think I can get water and lava going down the same line. I think. Uh, I might be wrong on that one. Actually, no. Let's, let's not do that. No, no, no. Let's separate them out. Because we need water coming from one side, lava coming in from the other. So we'll disconnect that. And we'll have that running. If we get rid of... Spray this for a second. Let's clear all that lava out of it. What we need is we want water coming one side. We want lava coming in the other with the machine in the middle. So we'll run lava up through there. And then we'll run the water through here. Like that. Okay, so now we've got water and we've got lava coming in two separate pipes. That's lava only. That should be... Oh, and I've got to set the... Uh, Keep forgetting to do that part. I'm going to set the pipe to export without a redstone signal. And now we should get water coming in this side. Which it does. It's got 2,000 millibuckets of water. Okay, and then if we put the igneous extruder down like that, and shift click, clear off the inputs, and we want. Uh, want it to make cobble, um, want it to make obsidian, and if we tell it that's coming in one side, and that's coming in on another side, and then out of the top, we will take whatever comes off. So if we now feed in the lava and the water, which it's doing, or just, just to make it clean, put that as an insert. That as an insert, and it generate it's now generating obsidian at a fairly decent rate. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we will pipe that with an item filter. Where are you? Item filters. Take one of you. Uh, make sure that you're on extract onto the orange channel because we want it to go into our system. Orange channel, turn off the redstone signal, and then we should be able to click, just connect that straight across, and out it goes. And now we've got uh, a system of automatic obsidian generation. And then if we go get some of those Endryo facades, which I think I have some spares floating around. There they are, conduit facades. I think that's how you pronounce it, facade. Uh, what we can do is we can just bung it 
like that. And then if you put the wrench on, it opens it up. But it makes it look a little bit prettier. Uh, I've got it matched to the wrong type of block, but it fills in the hole without interrupting the pipe. I love those things. Ender IO is an amazing mod. Okay, and that'll just keep working away, generating uh, as much obsidian as we should probably ever need over time. Okay, and that gives us a way of fueling, and that should be going up, 79, 80. Okay, so that's definitely feeding into the system. So that's stage one of uh, getting our digital miner going. Let's put these uh, this frames away for now. Uh, probably ought to convert some of these machines to resonant versions as well, but I don't need to do that right now. Anyway, so back to our digital miner, which I don't really actually know what it does. It looks like some sort of robot. I'm not sure how it works. Never tried one before. Uh, so let's start working down our list. We need a basic control circuit, which we know how to make. We put a piece of osmium inside the metal metal metallurgic infuser with some redstone, and that generates us a basic control circuit. So we have that element. We're going to make that in this top area here. Uh, the other thing that's easy to make is a steel casing which is electrical steel with osmium. So if we get some electrical steel, two, three, four, with a piece of osmium, and make that component up. Where did it go? There it is, osmium, electrical steel, two, three, four. And that gives us a steel casing, which we need for the bottom slot. Uh, next, let's make these uh, atomic alloys. Now, atomic alloys are two-stage process. Uh, first, you have to make the reinforced forced alloy from the enriched alloy, and that requires diamond dust uh, or a compressed diamond. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, because we've got so many diamonds, got like tons of them. Let's just pre-make up a stack of 64 of these compressed diamonds. Now, a compressed diamond, I think, lasts longer than a diamond dust. I think, because it's enriched and it's an extra process, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but that'll give us 15 of those. If we go back to, no, nope, not that one. Go back to that one. Then we need some of these enriched alloys, which we made in the metallur metallurgic infuser with iron and redstone, if you remember. We've done that countless times for the turbines and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, so we've got some of those pre-made up. Actually got a spare diamond thing there as well. Let's uh, make up uh, two of those. See how, how much that diamond does. Yeah, so we got to make a whole, it puts a ton of diamond in there. So we might as well make up, uh, use up that last of that diamond uh, that we put in there. Like so, and with the speed enhancement, it makes it a little bit faster. And then we need to make a compressed obsidian with obsidian dust. I think we've got some pulverized obsidian there. And we can put that into the... Nope, can't put that in there, but we can put it into the metallurgic infuser, I think sure if that's going to work actually i don't think it will we need we need refined which is compressed obsidian uh so we need to take get some obsidian let's grab a bit of that and stick that in the enrichment chamber and that makes up nope that, comp that does that so how do you make up the oops daisy how do you make up the compressed Oh, you put the diamond in with the, uh, okay. So we take the, some more of that diamond and put in the compressed obsidian or pulverized obsidian. That gives us the re refined obsidian dust. Gives us a bunch of that. Should be enough. We can always make up some more. And then we combine that 
with the uh, the reinforced alloy, which we just made. Uh, we need so how many of those do we need? We just need two. So we'll put two in. Actually, we might as well put them all in. We've got the dust to do it. Go, and that makes us some atomic alloys. Bit of a long, drawn-out process, but not too bad, especially when you've got the speed upgrades in there. Otherwise, it takes a, a fair amount of time. Uh, and then we can use those to put those there. Okay, next on the list, uh, let's make up the logistical sorters, which is just iron, piston, and one of the control circuits. I need two of those. Let's grab two pistons, stack of iron that we got tons of. And I've got some circuits over here. Like so, we'll put those in like that, like that, and surround that with iron. I've got those two the wrong way around. And that gives us uh, logistical sorters. It's not too bad. Next, uh, let's make up the robot. Uh, she's going to take up another atomic alloy, which is, I mean, we made up some spares. Uh, energy tablets. We're going to have to make up a couple of those. We need some more enriched alloy, which we have. And some gold and some redstone. Let's clear that out. Uh, should be able to make that straight. We just need two of those, I think. Or do we need four? No, we just need the two. Uh, we've already got a spare. Let's make this up in the middle one. Done that, got that, we got that. Uh, we need to make uh, steel ingot, re refined obsidian ingot. So we have to put that into an osmium compressor, which I don't think we've actually got that machine yet. Nope, okay, so we now need to make up an osmium compressor, because, oh dear, osmium. So look, see what the recipe for that shouldn't be too difficult, which it's not. Uh, we've already got the enriched alloy. Get some couple of buckets out. Two buckets. And have we got a spare? Yes, we do. Let's make that. Uh, we're going to need a steel casing as well, which is the uh, osmium with electrical steel again. Two, three, four. Again, yeah, pretty low on that. Uh, let's make that up. One, two, three, four. Osmium in the middle. Gives us our block that we need for that. And then these advanced control circuits, which are enriched alloys and the... See, I mean, we need a... You end up needing a lot of these components, so... It's good to get those speed upgrades. And... Was it, was it that? Or was it the other way around? Like that. Yep. That's what it was. Oh, oh, oh dear fingers, come on. Two of those. And that should give us enough components to make up that item. Which I think it was like that with that and... Oops. There you go. And then we're going to need some speed upgrades again, which is the pulverized gold... Pulverized osmium. I don't know if I've still got any of that. Did I put that in the... I don't think I used it all. And... Oop, wrong button. Not seeing that. Did I put it in one of these chests? Nope. Okay, let's just quickly pulverize up some more of that dust. Easy enough to do. Stick that in there like that. God, that is so fast. Don't feel that that should be that fast. Unless it's a resonant, but it's not. Okay, well, we've got enough dust. And then we need some glass. And I think. I'm trying to remember what the. Uh, let's have a look at the mechanism upgrade again. We need. Glass. Oh, it's the enriched uh, alloy thingies again. Like that, and then glass. Oops. Not you, not you. 
eight of those. And then we swap that out for the Osmium Dust and get eight of those. Okay, and then we can stick down that compressor. Stick that on the other side. Put in our upgrades. And then we can look at what we need for the to use that compressor for. Uh, so back to the digital miner recipe. Uh, we need to make the refined obsidian ingots, which is refined obsidian dust with osmium combined. Let's put the other upgrades in. And then we need to make up some that does that. And then we put that in with diamond dust, don't we? There you go. Let's make up two, three sets of that. Let's see if that upgrade is done. Yep, all our upgrades are on. And we'll grab some of that. And then we need some osmium. Osmium. And we stick in. So how many do we need? We just need two ingots. So if we put in two of those, and was it the, was it that? Nope. It was the osmium, wasn't it? There you go. That makes up two of refined. Oh, we should need another one then. There you go. And that gives us that part. Which is, I think we're making in this middle one. Yes, we are. Like so. Uh, we need a, pe a steel ingot and an electrical chest. Do I have any steel ingots left? Dark steel. Electrical steel. I think all my... Okay, I've got some steel processing on the farm. Let's check see how we're doing on that as well. Still not a ton of plants, but it's getting there. They are spreading. How many ingots have we got now? We're up to 42. Which, I mean, that's not bad. Still need a whole lot more if we're going to make up that big reactor. Okay. So we can go and place the steel ingot on the top. And then we just need the electrical electric chest, which is... Oh, good grief. Wish I realized that before I went back through. Uh... Just a regular piece of glass, control circuit, five, we'll get five more steel ingots. Back through we go. I really want to get that A2 system sorted out because then it'll, uh, I can consolidate everything. Five of them, make sure we got five. Yeah, we did get five. And back through we go again. At least it's pretty fast. And then we need to make up two chests. Two, three, four, five, six. Now oh, we're out of wood. Really? And I'll be right back when I've got the wood. Okay. Got the. Uh, clear that out. Got the wood to make up two chests. He says he puts them in the wrong slot. That gives us our two chests. And we need. Have I got a yeah, I've got a circuit there, so we can make that. Should be able to make that up straight away. There we go. And that'll give us our chest. And if we put that in there, that'll give us our robot. Good grief. This is one convoluted recipe. And then finally, we need the teleportation cores, which is just lapis, diamond, gold, and two more atomic alloys, which I'm glad we made up some spares. Uh, so we put... Two of those down. We need lapis, gold, and I think diamond, I think it said. Nope, wrong button. That one. Yep, we got make up two of those. Clear that out. And then that should be enough to make up the digital miner. Holy moly. That was one complicated recipe. Uh, now, I have no idea how you use this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it go over here. I'll put it down. Not sure what it's going to do. I'm going to stick it right there. 
No, I'm not. Whoa. Oh, it connected to that. So it has power. Configure. Upgrades. Energy and speed again. Give me, I, 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 I'm going to go and check out a wiki page and see how this works. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I found out how this thing works. Unfortunately, uh, I recorded how this worked uh, yesterday, but I didn't realize that the footage that I recorded uh, only had the sound. So I lost the video on it for some reason. So I'm having to have to re record this right now. Uh, I'm going to quickly just go through this. Uh, okay, so you start with the... Uh, got to connect power up to it, obviously, which we got running. Uh, you hit the config button. You select the radius. The maximum you can have is 32. It actually doesn't destroy any of the terrain. or It doesn't dig a massive, great big hole. Uh, you can tell it to what it actually to pull out. Uh, the minimum distance is, that's like zero is down at bedrock and it goes up to like Y level 60. Uh, we can set that up to 250 because I'm not sure what Y level we're on right now. And do that. And then you create your filters. And I use the, I'm going to use the ore dictionary filters. Say you wanted to pull out all of the tin. If we look at uh, tin ore, and say for that one, if you look up in the uh, in the description, when you hold down the shift, it tells you what the ore dictionary name is, and that's ore tin. So if we put in ore tin, for example, and hit save, that will now pull in all the tin that it finds. If we add in, say, oh, I don't know, uh, lapis, maybe. Uh, where's the lapis or the dense or I'm assuming that it will work on dense and then we can do like all lapis again. It's a bit of a pain that you have to add in each individual thing you want to pull out. Uh, I, I'm not sure, but I think if you leave this blank, it will pull everything, including dirt, gravel, sand. But this is a way of uh, pulling out exactly what you want from the area that it's going to. Let's try the uh, see if it does pull out dense or dense or lapis. Actually, let's look and see if it's got dense or diamond. Or actually, it might make sense to uh, see what dense ores we've got. Maybe gold. Gold would be a good one. Where are you? There you go. That's gold gravel. Dense cheese ore. It's really. Uh, dense ore gold. Let's do that as well. Let's see if it pulls out the dense stuff. Dense or oops, or gold. Okay, and then you set put as many filters as you want on that, and then you go back, and you just hit start, and it'll tell you how many blocks it's found. It's found seven hundred and thirty odd blocks, and because I've put speed upgrades on and energy upgrades like uh, the other machines, it's going to go a little bit faster. And there it goes. And it just starts pulling in all the ore. That's 32 blocks in the front of the way that it's facing. It's got some lapis. Check on the dense ore in a second. And you could also put on an item filter or some sort of chest on the back. And it'll poop out the ore. And I think on the top, yeah, on the top, there's a way of putting in like gravel or, or dirt or wood. And you can tell it to, if I hit that stop, what's it pulled out there? That's oh, just another stack of ore. Uh, go on to the reset, go back to config. Uh, there's a way of telling it. You can make it do silk touch. There you go. If you hit that, press the O to get rid of any eye. Uh, if you hit the auto pull button, it'll pull anything from that chest on the top or from an item filter that you've got set up and any block that it removes, it will fill with that type of block that's in that chest. 
And you do that by toggling the auto pull. Uh, you can do the auto eject. You can just eject any time out the back, or it'll just do it automatic if you pull a pull like an item filter on it. Silk touch, same as pickaxes, and reset will just stop it. And uh, anytime you want to change the config, you have to stop it and hit reset, and then go into the config and you can make your changes. And then you just hit start again, and off it goes. And that's basically it. Uh, the other thing that happened was uh, in that recording, uh, I lost the. I picked up the rewards for some of the quests that would. I think it was the uh, the digital miner quest. I'm not entirely sure. I picked up like two or three bags and opened them. I didn't get anything great. the The only thing of any note that I got was a. Uh, what was it? It was a nether star generator, but I don't really, I can't really use it. So I just bunged it in the chest. Everything else was trivial rubbish. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you could hit that like and subscribe button, I would very much appreciate it. And until next time, toodles. <laughs>